Hurling in Canada is known as the outcome of the night of college partying. But hurling in Ireland is the sport of the gods, the national pastime, and some would argue the precursor to hockey, brought to Canada by the first Irish immigrants. It is an organized sport, played throughout Ireland and under the auspices of the National Sporting Organization, the Gaelic Athletic Association, or affectionately known as the GAA. The celebration of the 50th anniversary of the St. Vincent's GAA Club in Toronto was caused for the president of the GAA, Mr. Christy Cooney, to travel to Canada and meet with clubs from across the city and New York. I met up with him at the Sheridan Hotel to ask one of the most powerful Irish leaders a few questions on the sport and the hopes for hurling to cross the Atlantic into the psyche of Canadians as the fastest played field sport. Remember where we as a nation came from, having been dominated by the British for so long um, that it was very difficult for the people at the time to embrace what was called a foreign game or a British game. But I think we've moved on significantly from them. We have grown up as a nation worldwide mm -hmm. and, and I, al I also believe that as a small nation we punch way above our weight internationally. And I said that at, at the banquet, and I believe we do. When you see the role that we have played even in Toronto, we've played in New York, we've played throughout, throughout Europe, we've played throughout the world now. So I think we, we, we have broadened our horizons. The GA is in its 25th year, 125th year this year. It was founded in Turles in a hotel called Hazels in 1884. And it was really about generating sporting opportunity for the people of Ireland at the time who were going through a very difficult time of poverty, deprivation and as you know we were, we were totally overtaken by the British at the time. So a number of people, including Michael Cusick, uh, set about a farming and athletic association which incorporated our games of hurling and football which are our prominent sports. We, we prefer to use the, the word volunteerism rather than amateurism because nearly all the people in our organisation are volunteers that promote and develop our games. Of course we have full time staff at, at our headquarters in Crow Park and at various centres around the country to administer and manage the affairs of the association. But by and large, our association is made up of volunteers who work on a voluntary basis without pay. All our players are volunteers, all our coaches are volunteers, all our administrators at club level are volunteers, and we have 2,500 clubs in Ireland and 350 clubs overseas. We provide ourselves in being professional, uh, and we don't necessarily like using that word because we are a voluntary organisation. But we're very efficient and very very good at what we do. We run a major program of games throughout the season, and particularly at club level, which is so important to us with two and, two and a half thousand clubs. And we pride ourselves in being a grassroots organisation, which is so important for the ongoing development of our games. Yes, our youth program is primarily of importance to us mm -hmm. in ensuring that we bring players through to our adult games at all levels. So it's about promotion of our games, not only promotion of our games, but also about promotion of our language and promotion of our Irish music and culture. It's, it's, a, it's a game that they learn from their youth, they're very skillful at it, they know how to protect themselves, and uh, we would like to consider people do not use hurdies with abandonment and causing damage to other players. Of course players get injuries in their hands and their mm -hmm. legs, but that's part of any sport. But we, we know there are issues around insurance in Canada, but it's something we, we would hope to deal with. And I had a discussion last night with the office of the various clubs here and the mm -hmm. Canadian board and the Toronto board to see how we could move it forward. And we would be very keen for hurling to take off yeah. in a serious way in Canada because hockey is a fundamental sport in Canada. And it's been wonderful to watch it on television and it's a great sport. It is a tough, hard sport, but it's a man's game. Yes. And that's what hurling is as well. Yeah. So once people would understand that, and I would like to hope that Canadians would take it the opportunity to yeah, watch a great well, game we of hurling. believe, whether the Canadian people would like it or not, that, that hockey was developed out of seeing hurling in the very first days. But also we believe that our hurling game is the fastest field sport in the world, yeah. the most skillful field sport in the world. And some people think it's dangerous because of the pace of the game. But um, if you look at the number of injuries that take place in hurling, we play thousands of hurling matches here. They're very minimal. Mm -hmm. And we have a very good, strong safety record and ensure that all our players wear safety helmets and ensure, ensure they do not get striking, struck in the head, which may cause serious damage to them, to their health. But we, we have great pride in holding. We think it's an absolutely wonderful game. And it's a pity there's not more and more played in Canada. But there are some challenges around that and, and we'll face those in time and try and expand the holding game in Canada as much as possible. Yeah, we, we use the word when we strike a ball, we call it a puck. 
you call the, the puck the ball. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. 